The Well of Hell. Deep in the Yemen desert, the Well of Barut plunges into the earth, a gaping maw shrouded in secrecy and fear, known to the locals as the Well of Hell. This vast chasm stretches over 30 meters in diameter and plunges hundreds of meters into the earth's depths. According to local folklore, this natural abyss serves as a prison for demons, a notion that finds support in the foul odors emanating from its depths. The Prophet Muhammad is reputed to have warned against its waters, branding them as, quote, the worst water on the face of the earth, further imbuing the site with a sense of foreboding. Local superstitions caution that both objects and individuals venturing too close to the brink risk being ensnared and swallowed by the chasm. This fear is so potent that discussing its very existence is believed by locals to bring bad luck, a belief reinforced by tales of inexplicable voices and the sounds of screaming and growling emerging from its depths. Among the various mythological entities associated with the Well of Barut are jinn, genie-like beings rumored to haunt and attack those who dare to approach. The 13th century accounts of Ibn al-Mujawir, a traveler and businessman, link the well to Shaddad bin Ad, a tyrannical ruler mentioned in the Quran. He is said to have ordered two jinn to dig a well and a channel to supply water to a newly founded settlement, later using the Well of Barut to imprison them. The well's ominous nickname, the Well of Hell, also likely stems from Islamic lore, where scholars have documented stories from other ancient travelers that describe it as a purgatory for sinners, quote, where the people exiled to fire reside until the resurrection, painting a vivid picture of a realm filled with the tortured souls of the damned. Geologists estimate the well to be millions of years old, yet its true depths remain a mystery. A local geological authority has stated, quote, we've never reached the bottom, as there's little oxygen and no ventilation and described encountering strange phenomena and odors that contribute to the well's mysterious allure. For a long time, the secrets of the Well of Barut were known only to the birds dwelling within its recesses. However, a recent expedition by a small team has begun to illuminate its shadows. Contrary to fears of encountering jinn or tortured souls, the team's primary concern lay in avoiding unexploded ordnance from Yemen's prolonged conflicts. The exploration revealed snakes nearly devoid of pigment, thriving in the perpetual darkness alongside the odors of decaying birds and clusters of cave pearls. Yet no evidence of jinn has been found, suggesting the chasm's mysteries are more natural than supernatural. The Band of Holes The Pisco Valley of the Nazca Plateau in Peru is home to an inexplicable collection of more than 5,000 holes. Both the origin and function of these man-sized holes are an enduring mystery for the local people, and they continue to baffle archaeologists too. Ominously, the area is variously referred to in Spanish as Monte Sierpe, which translates to Serpent Mountain, or Cerro Viruela, which means Smallpox Hill, in reference to the pockmarked appearance of the land. When viewed from above, it quickly becomes clear why some refer to this area as Serpent Mountain. The holes are arranged in blocks, forming a distinct snaking pattern. Best estimates put them at being around 500 years old and built under the Incan Empire. The band of holes stretches for around a kilometer and a half, with each hole measuring around one meter across and up to one meter deep. Considering that they are stone-lined and feature raised edges, making these holes would have been no easy feat. Several possible explanations have been put forward over the years. Some claim that the hole served as a defensive position from which the Inca could fend off attackers. Others have speculated that they were used for storage, or that they were once graves that have since been excavated. Even some groups seeking support for outlandish theories of alien visitation have cited the holes as evidence. None of these explanations, however, has stuck. Recently, another theory has emerged that may explain the hole's actual use. Following a 2015 visit to the site, a team from UCLA suggested that they may have been used to measure volumes of produce for trading or giving as tributes. It is hoped that further testing will confirm this latest theory, and perhaps even reveal something about the mysterious builders behind them. Egyptian Core Drills The technological capabilities of the ancient Egyptians have long been a source of debate among academics, historians, and Egyptologists. The construction of the Great Pyramids is the most famous example, with another notable achievement being their ability to use drills to remove cylindrical cores from materials. 
working with hard stones like granite and quartz pose significant challenges. Archaeological evidence demonstrating this ancient culture's capacity to do so underscores their advanced skills in construction and masonry. Historians have been puzzled about how the Egyptians accomplished such feats with relatively primitive tools and methods. Yet undeniable core drill holes and preserved granite cylinders have been found. Egyptian texts hint at the use of such tools, with the hand drill often represented in the hieroglyphics associated with high-quality pottery and stone vessels. These tools, varying significantly in size, were employed in both construction and artistry. They featured a rotating, weighted boring bar turned by hand to cut perfect cylinders. However, cutting through stone required an incredibly hard material, and iron was scarce in Egypt 3,000 years ago, with some stones being even tougher than hardened iron. Such discoveries have fueled theories about ancient lost high technologies, and even speculation about ancient aliens and lost civilizations. The precise method the Egyptians used remains a mystery, though some historians have proposed explanations. Egyptologist A. Lucas suggested, quote, it was a loose abrasive powder of finely ground quartz sand used wet. However, distinct grooves on the edges of the holes suggest a different technique. Sir Flinders Petrie argued that, quote, the cutting of granite was done by jeweled tubular drills, with cutting points of emery set in the sides of the tube, both inside and out, because nothing but a fixed point could have cut such grooves. Despite ongoing debate, Lucas and Petrie never agreed on the exact mechanism used for boring holes in Egyptian stonework, and research continues. Fasi Dion Located in France's Burgundy region, the ancient Fasi Dion Spring gushes an impressive average of 311 liters of water per second. However, the most remarkable thing about the Fasi Dion is its elusive source. The spring's turquoise waters are rich in minerals, suggesting a hidden underground labyrinth of limestone tunnels and chambers. Despite numerous legends attempting to explain its origins, the source of the deep and ancient Fosse Dion Spring remains a mystery that modern science has yet to unravel. The name Fosse Dion translates to Divine Pit, suggesting that the spring once held great religious significance. It has also served as a source for drinking, as well as for washing and bathing for many centuries. Legend has it that in the 7th century, a monk cleared the then swamped spring, encountering and slaying a creature half rooster, half lizard. This deed purportedly restored the spring's flow and delighted the locals. Some believe, even to this day, that a serpent resides at the bottom of the pool, a theory unrefuted due to the fact that no human has ever successfully reached the bottom. Others suggest that the hole's bottom could be a portal to another realm. Today, the Fasi Dion is encased in a stone basin, constructed in the 1700s to shelter the washerwomen who historically gathered there. Beneath the stone, the Fasi Dion remains as wild as ever, with its subterranean network that feeds the spring unexplored, leaving the true source of its life-giving water unidentified. Despite past efforts, the dangerous waters have claimed many divers, leading to the abandonment of such explorations. Now, with diving strictly regulated, the Fosse Dion secrets continue to elude discovery. The Sacred Cenote Chichen Itza is a central location to the ancient Maya culture, once serving as a powerful capital city. One often overlooked feature of this World Heritage Site, however, is the Sacred Cenote, also known as the Well of Sacrifice. This name alludes ominously to its past uses. The Sacred Cenote is a flooded sinkhole with a mouth that measures 60 meters across and has a drop of almost 30 meters to the water's surface. According to multiple sources from explorers, when Chichen Itza was in its prime, the Maya would throw valuables into the cenote's depths to appease Chak, their god of thunder and rain. In support of this, archaeologists who dredged the cenote in the early 1900s found a trove of jade, gold, and pottery, in addition to human remains. More advanced methods have been used in subsequent explorations, turning up a variety of treasures and horrors. One explorer who encountered the Maya in 1566 wrote, quote, into this well, they have the custom of throwing men alive as a sacrifice to the gods in times of drought, and they believe that they did not die, though they never saw them again. Along with the remains of men, women, and children, various weapons have been preserved, as well as idols, scepters, tools, and artifacts of jewelry. The human victims appear primarily to have been boys, aged between 6 and 12. 
The bones of over 200 individuals have been recovered, and analyses of these remains indicate that they may have been sourced from far and wide, perhaps kidnapped from rival tribes or purchased as slaves from distant lands. The analyses suggest a grim fate for these individuals. Some were murdered brutally before being cast into the cenote, and others were left to drown. This practice underlines the Maya belief in cenotes as portals to the underworld, a belief that juxtaposes the serene beauty of these sites with their dark historical uses. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's Ancient Mysteries channel, and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.